July was the hottest month in American history. With no rain from above, these crops are wizened heralds of more bad news for the world economy. You should be seeing corn taller than you and tall as me or taller than me. It should be up here, should it? Yeah. Marion Kiyava has farmed these 2,000 acres for half a century. He's seen severe drought before, but nothing this bad. Look at that. Just one, 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 one kernel. He usually gets 150 bushels of corn from every acre. This year, he'll be lucky to get 10. It's a disaster. This crop is done. It, it, it won't get no greener. It won't get no better. It's done, done. For simple reason, this did not pollinate. I mean, it could rain. A foot of water could be running on this ground right now. It's not going to help a thing. It's done, done. It's life. It's history. The lack of corn is already hurting pushing up the cost of food for the animals. Many are being slaughtered early. If the rains don't come within days, the soya beans will be finished too, and there's not a cloud in the sky. The crops withering in this parched ground are vital for the world food industry, its very foundation, not only because they provide animal feed and oil, but because they go into products you wouldn't even imagine, from snacks to fast food, even soft drinks. The man in the cow coat has reason to be animated. He's a trader in corn futures 300 miles away in Chicago. There's frenetic activity because they're expecting prices to rocket if new figures show how little corn is reaching the market. The impact won't stop here. Everything that happens from so uh, soy meal, oil, all the products that you use at home that, that, use from, that come from corn, soybeans and wheat, bread, everything, you're going to see the prices go up minimum of 20% at the grocery store. But vast swathes of rural America have already seen their livelihood devastated by drought. The great fear is next year will be just as parched and much poorer. Do you have any food reserves in your home right now? How long could you provide food for your family if the food supply was cut off? A month? A week? Three days? Wouldn't you feel better if you had the necessary reserves? Have you ever noticed that the more advanced we get, the less prepared we are? Many things that defined life only a hundred years ago are so convenient today that we don't really think about what would happen if that convenience were gone. Consider how we get our food. We just go down to the grocery store and grab a few things. But what if something happened that interrupted the food supply to the store? How long would it take for the shelves to be wiped out? What would you do? How long could you and your family survive? You know, for all the other important things in our lives, we have a variety of professionals, from mechanics to doctors, to help cover our bases. Why don't we also have a food professional? Food is our greatest dependency. Yet most of us find ourselves unprepared for the uncertainties that lie ahead. Why take chances? Why not do something about it? You've already taken the first step. Keep moving forward with this tour, even show you how to get your food for free.